How do I begin my snowflake learning journey? And where do I sign for my snowflake exams? I believe many of you will have the same questions as I just raised. Not to worry, I'm here to help. Oh, the snowflake exams does not have a voucher or promo code. You have to pay by credit card. To find out more about where to assess the snowflake learning and to sign up for the snowflake exams, go to the rest of the video and you will find out very soon. Where to begin your snowflake learning journey? Sign up with the snowflake community. Go to community.snowflake.com and create your account. This is the Snowflake Community homepage. Sign up with Snowflake Community account over here. Fill up the form. Click Submit. If you have the Snowflake Community account, click Login. So once you enter the Snowflake Community portal, you can see the quick links from forums, university, documentation and announcements. Go to forums. In Snowflake forums, you can do a keyword search. So let's say I want to do a keyword search on SnowPro certification. You will see a list of results based on your keyword search. Filter the results. I can filter based on the answers, knowledge article or videos. So let's say I want to filter to videos. I click the checkbox, videos, and you will see someone actually have a video on SnowPro course certification. So I will click the link to see Explore, Welcome this is what to I want. Snowflake's Data Superheroes Origins. I'm your host, Ken Graziano. If this is not what you want, go to Answers. So for Answers, there are 75 results. You can choose to filter by the dates or by the relevance. So in this case, I will go for the first answer. Yeah, so the post was deleted, but never mind, I can go back to the last page. Look for another result, say, request guidance on Snow Pro course certification. A member have raised this question. Other members in the forum actually help to respond. They could also write an answer to help to respond. And on the right, can also see other community forums based on the different categories from like Snow Park, Snow Site, Unistore. Scroll down. You can see related questions and sometimes there could be an announcement for you to join startups user group or even Snowflake Summit user groups. You can sign up for a community meetup. I have one session in Singapore on 6th July. So click to find out. This gives me the date and the time. How many have RSVPs? Overview of what this event is all about. Speakers of this meetup. The agenda. Documentation. It will take you to a page for you to Search your desired Snowflake documentation. And here you can see a list of categories of documentation from getting started with Snowflake, working with Snowflake, getting data, cost performance, managing security and reference. There's even the Python worksheets and also Snowflake submits. As we go to the announcements, this is where you can see all the announcements for all the regions from behavior change log, security announcements, product news, client release history, announcements by region. You can also find your release announcements based on the selected cloud platform and the region. Let's assume I want to do cloud platform. As you show release announcements, select the region, let's say um, APEC Japan. So there's one announcement. So I click on this to find out. So this will give you the announcement based on my filter. You could customize your links. I can choose to uncheck my announcements and I choose ideas or developer portal and click save. Notice that my quick links has been updated based on my preferences. Here is my new quick link on my community page and explore university. To so click university, notice that some of the courses will have a paid a label and some will have free. Clearly, not all the courses are free of charge. Please be careful when you choose the courses. Learning tracks being arranged in terms of data engineer hands-on badges, Snow Pro core study, level up first concepts, Snowflake partner content. So I would recommend new Snowflake practitioners to go to the level up first concepts, go to the view learning track. You could see a roadmap, the key concepts, the performance. This roadmap helps to guide you what are the modules to take. So for example, it shows the first concept level up, key concepts, and followed by the container hierarchy all the way to Snowflake ecosystem until you go to the final exam. You could also explore 
other learning tracks in Snowflake. Snowflake also offers instructor-led training. For instance, there's a Snowflake Fundamentals, a four-day course. Click here to learn more. Click Calendar. Under the calendar, it will show the list of available offerings. Arranged in terms of location, the class start dates and end dates, languages. So I want to search a virtual classroom, let's say under APEC ISD time zone friendly, and uh, I'll just click search. Over here, I have a list of uh, results. There are four sessions. Each of the session, only one of them has got a confirm check. Mark over to click on this session to know more about this course and the sessions here. On four day, there are four sessions. We go through the dates and the times carefully. In the description, the course objectives, prerequisites and the setup requirements, target audience. And if you look onto the right, you notice that this is a live virtual class with an investment of USD $3,000. So if you are prepared to pay USD $3,000 to attend this course, you click Add to Cut Dora. Dora is auto grader. If you want to use the Dora auto grader, you need to run two setup scripts. If you want to install, you can watch a five minute step-by-step -step video and follow. Here's the demo video of the grader setup process. Certifications. The first exam, Snowproof course certification, which is a prerequisite. This requires to create an account and this will take you to the exam registration instructions. Click here to find out more. And this will take you to the instruction page. So if you're new to Snowflake certification portal, this page is very important for you to take your time to go through the instructions before you register for a Snowflake exam at person view. So on this page, scroll down and find Snow Pro course certification to learn more. And this is the page to show you where to register for the Snow Pro course certification. Take your time, go through the details on this page to find out about the certification overview to make sure that you have a thorough knowledge of all those requirements. Go to the exam breakdown to understand the format, the number of questions, the question type, multiple select, multiple choice, the time limit, the language, the registration fee, and the passing score. Go to the domain breakdown, and this gives you the exam domain breakdown. So once you're comfortable with the certification, exam and domain breakdowns, click register now to purchase an exam. Over here, you'll be required to create a new profile if you do not have a Snowflake Person View account. So when you click Create New Profile, it will take you to this page for you to fill up your account information, your passwords, personal information, contact information, your address, and age verification before you click to prove that you have read and agree to the above terms and condition and create the account. Very importantly, you must enter the name as it appears on your government issue ID. Otherwise, you will not be able to take your Snowflake exams. So if you have created a Snow ID and password, log in. You will go to this page called Snow Pro Certification Dashboard. You have the menu from Home, Credentials, Available Certifications, My Certifications, Results, Credly, Messages, FAQs, and Contact Snowflake. So click Available Certifications. The system will recommend you to take the Snow Pro course certification if you have not taken any Snowflake exams before. Click Snow Pro course certification. So this page will give you the estimated eligibility to take the Snow Pro course certification. Check my course details for testing. Be very careful that the exam service provider requires this information for the assigned exam proctor to validate your identity. Your first and last name must match on the names on the identification you present at your proctor exam. These names will also appear on your certification record and certificate if you pass your exam. If for any reason your legal name is not correct, contact Snowflake for help for proceeding with your exam registration. How to contact? Here's the contact Snowflake link for you to click. This is where you get your help from the Snowflake team. Fill in the details 
Choose the type of your inquiry that you have, category, subcategory, and describe the issue before you submit the request. If after checking that your details are correct, you click the finalize application. You will see this page that says that your application is complete for the Snow Pro call certification. The portal will transmit your application details to Person View. When Person View receives this information, you will be able to schedule exam. Be patient and wait for Person View to process and respond. If you have further questions on your Snowflake exams, you are strongly advised to go to the FAQs. Here is the Person View resources, the links, and the FAQs for you to go through it. Really ask questions. Can I reschedule my exam? Can I cancel my exam? And what happens if I do not show up for my exam? Now, if you have your Snow Pro course certification and you wish to take an advanced Snowflake certification, go to the list and find advanced certification. So let's say I want to do advanced data engineer. So this is the one. Click to learn more. I'll go through the certification overview, go through the exam breakdown, the domain breakdown. If I'm comfortable with the certification requirement and the breakdowns, I'll click register now. This will take you to the dashboard for you to schedule exam with person view. Enjoy, have fun learning, all the best with your Snowflake exams and your learning journey.